All right, so this week I'm going to discuss um, a few concepts that Raul outlined, um, one of which being original position, uh, intuitive arguments, so on and so forth. So uh, original position concerns people being more inclined to promote their own interests in political philosophy. Uh, it happens everywhere, but for the sake of the discussion, we'll stick to political philosophy. Um, these personal biases can confuse and cloud judgment, and so the veil of ignorance comes in and basically blocks all that out and serves as um, you know, a block for the different information that can affect somebody's um, drive towards a, a political goal, wealth, social status, income, religion, so on and so forth. Um, helps ensure that decisions made are more so in line with the, the masses instead of something less necessary that more so just benefits that person in particular. Um, I really like to kind of pretend that I have an actual veil that I cover a group of people with, like you sort of did with the, the dolls in, um, in your video where you're trying to choose a political regime. Um, you know, everything gets blocked out. And I, I noticed what really helped uh, everything click for me is that... Um, the important thing is decisions aren't made nearly the same way as they normally are. Um, feudalism was proposed, and it could have had you know huge benefits, even if you if you gave somebody an overwhelming percentage that they were going to be a king. Um, in the system of feudalism, um, that's the catch. You you don't really technically know what you are, and so there's a chance that you might actually be a peasant. And the peasant or someone else you know being a peasant isn't a very enjoyable lifestyle back then. And that alone is enough to, to kind of back up from the feudalism uh, idea um, pending the circumstances. And so that's, that's what I got mostly out of original position. Um, intuitive arguments puts a lot of emphasis on decision making and effort um, throughout life related to success. Um, and it kind of uh, backs away from success being something that is happenstance or that you're born into. Um, it suggests that nobody should have to suffer or, uh, you know, have a lack of success from being born into a you know, body or a situation that lacks talent or opportunity. Um, and so between these, these two um, concepts, do they work? In my opinion, I'm sort of on the fence in the middle with both of them. Uh, I think it's really hard to be truly unbiased and only concerned about other people, or at least concerned about other people just as much as you're concerned about yourself. Um, it sounds bad, but that's kind of where I stand. I, I like to think that there's definitely a small group of people I could call to prove me wrong. Um, but we don't have a magical veil. Um, however, maybe there's some people left that can restore my faith in humanity. Who knows? But that's kind of where I stand on that one. Intuitive arguments puts me also sort of on the fence. Good choices are um, something that are really important in um, managing and obtaining success along with um, lots of effort. But on the contrary, people can come up in life um, in success by doing nothing. People can be born into a really bad environment and still come up in success. Um, my pessimism sort of takes over here, and I, I uh, sometimes feel like life is kind of on the rails, and it doesn't really matter what we do, um, which is why... I kind of, like I said, I'm on the fence with this one, but regardless, I don't think anyone should ever have to suffer or um, you know, pay for being put in the position that they didn't ask to be in. And so lastly, this personal political issue, I'm not very political, and so I tried my best um, to make up a scenario that was still a little bit political. I'm 25 now, and so I figured if I made three rules that um, would apply to pretty much everyone from now on forever, and... Uh, in turn, no one would ever have to experience these things again. I thought these were um, pretty uh, applicable to the masses that, you know, would seem like I was covered by a veil when I, when I chose them. Um, and so number one would be um, no abortions unless they're absolutely necessary. We all start off with a little cell and then um, everyone has the right to live a happy life like we are all right now. And so I thought that was a good one. Raising the price of junk food and lowering the price of healthy food is also something I'm very passionate about. Um, People that struggle financially then struggle nutritionally because they can only afford, um, you know, unhealthy food. And so that would affect you know, everyone, not just people that struggle financially. And that's something I care about a lot. And lastly, is to avoid an excess of anything. Keep things near equilibrium. A quote I really enjoy from um, a couple years back that I saw is that if excess allowed 
um, is allowed to destroy harmony and balance, then a life worth living becomes impossible to obtain. So those would be my three rules, per se, and um, that also does it for this discussion. So, thank you.